this research project was about the potential for sea slugs to provide toxins for potential cancer pharmaceuticals. And I became interested in this from some of my classwork that introduced me to these species and their defense mechanisms. And also, um, I just have an interest in cancer research and this allowed me to combine those two things into one. I went down to Nicaragua for five weeks of study with my advisor. We collected these specimens you see here from five different sites along the Pacific coast. We looked at the biodiversity, comparing how many species, how many different species, and um, how many different total specimens we found at each site. And we found that the most species and the most specimens were found at these two sites, La Flor and Chacacente, which are both marine reserves. And then we tested extracted organic toxins from each species against mouse fibroblast cells, which are a model system for cancer. And we found that of the species tested, nine exhibited a significant cytotoxic effect at the high concentration. And in addition, five of them also exhibited a cytotoxic effect at the low concentration. And the one that didn't, you can see in F, is um, one of the nudibranchs. A through H are nudibranchs and they're known for eating toxic substances such as sponges and tunicates and then incorporating toxins from them into their dorsal surface which makes them unpalatable to other marine organisms. And these two are aplesiomorpha which are related to the nudibranchs but they're obviously more camouflaged to their environment. They don't display the warning coloration um, and they're also toxic. And this is a sacoglossa or a lettuce slug and they're able to sequester chloroplasts from their algae prey and incorporate those into their, into their surface so that they can actually photosynthesize their like solar powered sea slugs. And all of them, except for this one right here, exhibited cytotoxic effects.